talk about righteousness, definition of righteousness. The definition of righteousness is the state of moral perfection required by God to enter into heaven. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. You say, why is that? Because Jesus is the only man who ever lived righteous on this earth. His righteousness was demonstrated when he came and lived a sinful life, in particular when he died on the cross for our sin. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And that's what that song was talking about. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Righteous with God. You see, what happened was that Adam was righteous with God when God made him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? He said everything was good. Yeah. Amen? And then the fall came. Yeah. Amen? So when the fall came, we got unrighteous with God. It wasn't righteous with God anymore. Right. Amen? Because, see, God had to, had to send Adam out of the garden, amen, because of his unrighteousness. Yeah. Amen? But guess what? God said, look at here. Man can't do it. So I'm going to have to go down myself and save mankind. Yeah. Amen? So what did he do? He sent Jesus Christ, hallelujah, amen. to die for our sins. Now let me say something to you now. When Jesus came here, Jesus was always righteous yeah. because he is God. Yeah. He do no sin. He did not sin. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. But what he did was that he came as righteous himself so that he could be, be righteous for us. Yeah. Amen? But guess what? Even though Jesus was righteous, we weren't righteous that Jesus did what he had to do. Yeah. Now you see that the movie, how they beat him, how they ridiculed him. Amen? How they pierced him inside on the cross. How they, how they just beat him real bad. Did all these terrible things to Jesus. Amen. And then Jesus went up on the cross. Amen. And then he died. And he rose again. Amen. Amen. And that's what made us righteous again. Someone had to pay the price for our sin. Yeah. Amen. So Jesus was the one that paid the price. Yeah. Amen. Made us righteous with God again. Amen. He said, no one can come to me unless they come through the Father. Why did he say that? Amen. Because Jesus is righteous and he's our righteous that we can get to God through Jesus Christ. Amen. When you pray, you should pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Because he sat on the right hand of the Father. Amen. Now the Jews, hallelujah, they were living by the law. Amen. They did not want to accept Jesus Christ as the Savior. They want to live by the law. Okay. Amen. But Jesus, I came to fulfill the law. Yes. Amen. Yes. And once you did that, and now how you have to fulfill the law, now we live in the name of Jesus. We get the right because of the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes. He died on the cross for our sins. He met the man of the law. Remember Galatians 5.14 say that the law is fulfilled. In, in one word, it goes on to say, and, and man shall love his neighbor as himself. Not a single person born of woman of this earth can do that. Why? Because we have a deprived nature. And as a result of Adam, everything we call love is conditioned. Yeah. Mm. Amen? Amen? You know, we, we don't, <laughs> you know, we want something for love. You know, we say we love you, but you know what I'm saying? There's it, it, a condition behind it. I might do something for you, but hey, look, I might want you to, you got to pick me back. You got to do something for it. Oh, Amen. Amen. But Jesus came and died for our sin and we don't have to do anything for it but it's heaven. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You cannot make it into, into heaven unless you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. Yeah. Amen. Either, and better off, better off, Antoine picked on this morning. Amen. Yeah. You know, either you have Jesus or you have the devil. Ain't no, other, ain't no other between that. Either you're living for Jesus, you accept Jesus Christ as Savior, or you're living for the devil. Either filled with devil or you're filled with Jesus. Amen. And I tell you what, <laughs> praise the Lord. You fill with one. Amen. Hallelujah. And look, and when we accept Jesus Christ as our Savior, then we begin to walk like Jesus. We begin to act like Jesus. We begin to talk like Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at here. Because see, he said, come as you are. Don't wait until you try, try to lose all those things that hold you down. You might be a drinker or, 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 or whatever you might be that they, they, they keep you away from God. He said, come as you are. Accept me. 
Hallelujah. And then those things begin to fall off Amen. as you go along. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep Amen. walking with Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. When I first came to church, I spoke of, of, of I look at the wrong word. I was talking to everyone. Amen. But I came as I were. This thing, if I had to, if I've been waiting to get rid of, I was still out there doing it. Yes. Waiting to try to stop. I couldn't stop myself. I loved it. I liked what I was doing. So people are going to tell you, like, I, I liked it then. I got a part-time job to do it. Amen? <laughs> Amen. Because, see, your testimony is going to help other people overcome what's what happening to them. Right. We don't want to give our testimonies. You don't think everybody think we always been saved. That we never did nothing wrong. Preach. Hallelujah. I've been, I've been saved for 40 years. So what? <laughs> you saved for 40 years and you still, but still ain't got it right. Amen. 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 Preach. Hallelujah. Preach, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But God doesn't have impurity. Therefore, his love, his righteousness, was demonstrated when he came and lived that simple life and when he died for others on the cross. He didn't have to do it. Amen. But God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son. And he said that who shall ever believe in him? He didn't say Buddha. So, or uh, that moon guy. Jehovah's Witnesses and all those people. He said who's there believe in him? Shall have everlasting life. Where? Everlasting life in heaven with God. And Jesus, hallelujah. We are here preparing ourselves today to go be with the Father. Amen. And we can't get there unless we go through Jesus. There's no other way you can get to him. Hallelujah. But through Jesus Christ. Adam saw to that. Amen. Adam messed all that up for him. But as a, as a lesson last week, said, well, don't blame the mother, don't blame because they blame God. Everybody want to blame somebody else. And I told my son this morning, son of daddy was talking in class. I said, well, he went to God said, I said, look here. I said, they just thought about that. You are responsible for your own self. That's right. Nobody else is responsible for what you do. They can put a gun on you and make you do it. They can talk to you and doing it. You make that choice. That's right. And I tell you, if you're here today and you haven't said to you, make that choice to see Jesus today. Right. Make that choice to put Jesus first in your life. Make that choice how you can go to heaven when the Lord earth come in. Amen. Hallelujah. He is the way. There is no other way. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. When we put our faith into, he, into who he is, Je Jesus Christ, the God man, and we put our faith into what he did for us. Amen. We put our faith, amen, into who he is. He is our sin on that cross. He is our deliverer. He is the one that put us right back with God the way God intended for us to be. He is the one, hallelujah, that sent the Holy Spirit to give us power on the enemy. He is the one, hallelujah, that we can call on. Hallelujah. He is the way. Amen. Hallelujah. Call on the name of Jesus. When you're sick, you got to call on the name of Jesus. You might call on God and God might hear me and say, look here. 